a charming. It's so wonderful to talk to you. I saw this video that was on Instagram uh, where you played the violin in these wonderful, beautiful gardens. Um, in there, these gardens are in Zurich. Yes, yeah. And so There's what is the project? Yeah, um, actually, um, this um, music video project is we just uh, uh, recorded in, in in June last month. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very new project that we thought that during the pandemic time, uh, we still couldn't really um, in front of the audience to uh, to perform, but there. Also, a lot of um, live streaming uh, um, style concerts. We thought, how about we 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 find a piece um, that we used uh, uh, um, like an idea with a cinematic uh, um, cinema um, yeah. idea to to uh, to enjoy the music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then we found uh, um, um, beautiful locations. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, in Zurich, there's a, a, one of the, um, actually one of the biggest uh, um, oriental garden, mm -hmm. traditional garden, uh, oriental traditional garden, the, the name is the China Garden, mm -hmm. and from, um, so outside from China, actually, the, the biggest one, and the, in really? Zurich, yeah, yeah. And we found them there, and we recorded it. Uh, uh, we filmed there as well. Mm -hmm. And this project is uh, um, actually for the uh, Swiss Chinese Chamber Orchestra, or we, uh, which I start the uh, um, uh, funded um, two years ago. Oh, I this, see. Yeah, this ensemble is uh, very interesting um, because we thought the um, living in 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 the Switzerland there's a lot of um, great uh, um, Asian musicians as as well as me the Chinese musicians and then they are professional musicians and and um, working um, in, in the good position um, from the different orchestras and the ensemble. Um, but there's no um, connection with them together, and mm -hmm. I, why not we 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 do a, a ensemble with um, the uh, Asian musicians and the Chinese musicians with uh, also um, the uh, European musicians uh, from from the local musicians together yeah. working together. There's a bridge. Um, uh, between the different uh, cultures, different uh, languages, then we started the, the ensemble. So, <laughs> and I think it's during, wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, uh, during this time, we thought that we we found two different uh, pieces, and mm -hmm. also connected together. The one um, you saw the video. Um, we start the pieces from the Borshak, the yeah. uh, the song mother told me, which is the, the really, for me, it's the deepest and the beautiful, uh, really beautiful melody uh, from uh, from Dvosha and a very mm -hmm. famous song as well. And mm -hmm. uh, we found also a Chinese song and uh, with uh, um, the name is, uh, uh, um, actually, um, there's a very beautiful name, also mm -hmm. uh, meanings. Um, don't never forget your early heart, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, and we we uh, we um, connect the, the both piece together like we connect the the um, ensemble together with a different wow. musician, and then uh, we have uh, uh, two singers, um, mm. one is from uh, um, uh, one um, uh, tenor is from the Zurich Opera House. Um, yeah. Mr. Thomas um, Erland. Oh, he, I know him. Yeah. It, I saw yeah. that video too. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And he, for, for him, also, first time to sing the, in Chinese. Yeah. But he, he really did a great, great job. Yeah. 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 Now, I, yeah. I saw that also, and I thought this was so well, beautifully done. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Yeah. yeah. It caught my eye immediately. 
I think it's a wonderful way uh, that you uh, and, and that you describe it, this you know this connection between um, the two cultures and and that music is the way you know to to connect. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think um, because um, today in in this um, um, generation. Actually, mm -hmm. the world is so uniform, uniform right? And yeah. the music um, absolutely in the best way to connect together and uh, making um, uh, making easier life together. Mm -hmm. And uh, we uh, with such a um, uh, enjoy very enjoyable to to use the music and then to find each other with without the problem. Actually, sometimes we rehearse and we play just playing and then we don't really open the mouth to, to discuss and then we uh, find each other. This way for us is really the beautiful, yeah. Mm. Well, I, you know, you're not the only person who, who, who talks about this, about this, uh, this common language, this common interest of music being uh, there and then connecting people, you know, amongst each other. And I find that beautiful, and I find uh, uh, that you, as artists, you know, you have a way of rethinking this and and understanding how this connection can work, which is wonderful. Thank you. Um, yeah, um, I I really like to do to do this job actually. Mm -hmm. uh, um, as maybe I, I um, as you know, I just uh, also. Um, like a, a new ambassador for mm. the sweet, uh, um, tourist uh, culture ambassador. And mm. this also for me is very um, big, big pleasure to, to show the, um, the use the uh, uh, culture um, window to show different country and so, show the beautiful um, Switzerland. Yeah. yeah. How did you get to Switzerland? How did you um, start there? Yeah, it, it, it's already, um, I think, already 13 or 14 years ago. And yeah. came to Switzerland and um, because I got a job from uh, Zurich Opera House um, uh, as a concert master here. And uh, I was before another 10 yeah, about 10 years, I was also in Vienna. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, during my, um, I was studying there. And uh, um, in the Switzerland, for me, it's uh, really um, begin my career. I, um, let's, and then I found also my uh, string chord quartet group, mm -hmm. uh, which is Tradivari Quartet. And uh, we are playing also together from 2008 until mm -hmm. today. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we have also a lot of um, coming plan for the next uh, season. Uh, mm -hmm. Now is um, I'm on the vacation. Uh, actually, not in the Switzerland. Now I'm right now sitting in in Nizza in Nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, you're not in Switzerland at the moment. <laughs> um, just for uh, for for a couple of weeks uh, vacation here. Yeah. But I see you have your violin with you on vacation. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> vacations means not with uh, also still with working with uh, finger preparing for the next season. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, so your your violin goes with you everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. There is just one part of from my body. Yeah, my, I have to practice every day, and yeah, uh, um, yeah it's um, um, family uh, members. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh wow, this is so interesting that you that you um, that you do it this way. But that you you really don't um, break away from it. You just uh, continue, but in a different way when you're on holiday. Yeah, um, when I'm on holiday, um, of course, maybe I practice a little bit uh, uh, shorter than than uh, normal um, time. Usually, can you imagine how many hours I'm on the violin? 
per day. Yeah, how many? Like, give me a, a number. <laughs> <laughs> two, three hours? Two, you three are? hours, maybe only during the concert already, two, three hours. Really? And um, before the concert, mm. um, sometimes it's still another four, five hours. Really? Yeah. Mm. So this is the... Um, uh, violinist uh, life, maybe. <laughs> yeah. That's and, incredible. Uh, but I'm very enjoying the, um, the the life with my violin. Mm. Yeah, I, I always I always say I'm a violinist. Yeah. That is incredible, and um, I I want to ask you now. If you mentioned concert, how do you prepare for a concert on the day? before you go to the concert? Do you have a specific routine that you do? Yeah, uh, um, good question. Um, first, depends on how, what kind of concert, right? Um, yeah. um, if, um, the, okay, in general, I, I'm a person, I need to um, play, I need to, um warm up my finger and warm up my body also uh, warm up my 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 thinking mm -hmm. during the concert day i always need let's say if i have time if i have only one concert per day uh mm -hmm. and then i need two three hours before that now i still uh I'm practicing or or in the um general rehearsal also um, through the piece but one hour or two hours before the concert i will really get a break have a break take a break yeah mm -hmm. and then to um to relax a little bit and to save energy as well and then um for the concert right yeah and then, um, uh, do you have? Do you eat before a concert, or do you, are you also um, uh, like uh, not not have an appetite before you play? <laughs> Almost never. Really. Mm, I I think it's the form normal for every uh, yeah. uh, musician, right? Because if we eat something, it's uh, working hard for here. Yeah. So, and then we are um, tiring also um, on the stage. Mm. Uh, empty stomach is uh, working um, better for me. But mm. after that, I always um, need a beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so lovely. I, I, um, I, who did I speak to? I spoke to a, a tenor, Long Long, and he also said to me after a performance, um, he goes and drinks a beer. A really cool tenor. <laughs> long, long, uh, long, oh. long, long, long. It's yeah. he's a he's a um, no, he's a tenor yeah. in, in I think he's in Berlin. Um, a singer, yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I long, long. Uh, um, he's my my classmate. Really? Yeah, we know each other from nine years old already. <laughs> really. Oh my yeah. goodness, that's so interesting. But um, yeah, and and tell me, uh, uh, another pian uh, another violinist mentioned something to me that I find very interesting, and that is uh, the shoes. Your shoes have to be uh, very comfortable. Uh, is that with you also the case? Um, I always feel my shoes um comfortable. I'm oh. not very sensitive with my shoes. But yeah. I need shoes on the stage. Mm. I know some um, um, artists or musicians maybe um, doesn't like with the shoes even on the stage. But mm. for me, um, shoes is um, um, not a problem. Not, uh, mm. not much. Uh, not the big problem actually. Yeah. Um, but tell me now. So, what is the next? Uh, what comes up in the next season for you, for your ensemble? And do you do concerts? Are you have, do you have concerts planned? Yes, yes. Um, 
of course, from the last season and the last last season <laughs> was terrible uh, because uh, a lot of things we have to cancel and uh, cancel again. But now, um, like uh, um, before the morning, the sun's coming. I feel uh, with this um, um, feeling um, because I thought there as. Uh, for the for me the next season very um are very looking forward for for mm. uh, because uh, even um from the um, zurich opera house we will uh, start again from um, um september and with great productions um first production we have salome um with um and simona Yan, uh, maestra and uh, we are also waiting or trying to maybe to come back to the opera house in the pit playing together. This is totally different uh, uh, feeling than um, separately with a uh, with a stage from mm -hmm. last season. And for me, with my quartet, we have um, also um, we will um, also have new season. And then special program for the next season will be uh, focused on um, Brahms. We will do whole Brahms season and uh, play different uh, uh, from the quartet to the quintet, sextet, and to the small um, chamber orchestra, even also double concerto with my colleague uh, together, uh, Maya Weber together, playing with the orchestra, really a huge program for the Brahms. And as well, um, we are planning with a tour again. We hope coming to Singapore uh, again, oh, uh, wow. yeah. Mm. With my quartet and uh, with uh, the mu also with the musician from Singapore, Singapore Symphony Orchestra in uh, next year April, so mm. this is also belong to the next uh, uh, season tour. And the beginning of next season September, uh, and, uh, with my quartet, will be come back to um, Cremona in Italy. And then, and we have their festival, and uh, after the there we go to the Trieste festival as well in in Italy, yeah. Uh, and for my personal uh, um, um, a soloist um, on the stage, I'm looking for very very forward with uh, Mendes Building Concerto, uh, Mozart uh, um, G Major Concerto, and also, uh, um, the Beethoven Kreutzer Sonata, nice um, sonata with string orchestra version as well, yeah. Wow, you have a very interesting program that you're doing. And do you have to organize all your concerts uh, for uh, your quartet? Um, for the quartet, we uh, um, organize a lot of, uh, we have a lot of work with organize. Of course, uh, um, for example, I just um, introduced with the Brahms um, season. This is all of, uh, from our cellist, uh, she, uh, Maya Weber, she organized for, for the quartet now, which is really huge program and a big project. Um, but the, um, also, uh, from the tour, we have our agent um, to um, uh, to coming the from the outside. There also, a lot of um, oh, um, yeah, perfect. And for the solo, I have also from my agent then and coming um, to from the different uh, way. Yeah. Well, I hope that you will again. Uh, um, do a project as well with the with filming because you know what i think over the time of of uh, the lockdowns we had a lot of things online and of course it's not the same as you know going to a concert but it has been a possibility for us to see different things and different artists from all over the world and i really i'm i think those films that you made are so beautiful and I hope that you will uh, do some projects like that again. That's wonderful. 
Thank you, thank you. I, I'm also very thankful um, for the technique things that we still have this opportunity to uh, explain, right? And I can't imagine if we don't have, uh, uh, if the um, situation before like uh, 10 years or even five yeah. years, that's the completely we lost uh, our um, energy with our music, I mean, mm -hmm. right? Uh, because one day it's close and shut down, no concert, no music, no communicate. Yeah. Then so difficult. I'm really thankful that mm -hmm. we on the platform, um, mm -hmm. even like right now, we can like uh, uh, know mm -hmm. to, to connect together. But as well, I don't think um, that is the uh, um, bad things to disturb for the um, later when we come back on the stage mm -hmm. um, because. I, I'm thinking um, because um, the art, the music, is only one time. It's, it's like, a, how to say, it's the, the uh, we, we playing on the stage. There's the, only the, um, the timing, um, culture of time. Maybe yeah. I, culture of time, we can uh, uh, sharing that from the stage. The people coming to the concert hall, they want to get the uh, the motion, the uh, um, um, the, the feeling, because mm. the culture of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, and um, and it's something that cannot be replaced. The life and the feeling and this this exchange of energy between artists and the audience. Yeah. Um, and I think we, on both sides, we realized this now, you know, from the audience side as well, we realized that we needed that. And, and of course, from the artist as well. So, um, but uh, this was now so lovely to talk to you. I would really love to follow your um, uh, projects. And I, I think what you are doing is so great in this, connection that you are building between artists at between cultures I find so um, so lovely and uh, inspiring and I think you know more more like that should happen I think in the world um, yeah. that we learn from each other Thank and you. I'm so happy that you had um, Thomas Arlong in your project <laughs> yeah because he's uh, a fellow South African I'm also South African so um, that's yeah. So I'm very happy that he was on your project as well. He has so beautiful voice. I have to say. <laughs> I know. That, that was. Do you know what? I spoke to him, and but that was actually the first time I heard him sing, and I was absolutely amazed at his voice. It's so beautiful. Yeah, you are right. Yeah. yeah, and even for him, first time to sing in Chinese, but his pronunciation so great I, 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 I he could also speak Chinese but it's not not true he just learned really um, word by word and so great yeah oh that's so wonderful so uh Chiang I um, uh, hope you have a lovely afternoon you too you and too I would uh, please keep me updated if there's something interesting that you would like to talk about then uh, connect with me and we can we can talk about that and spread all your wonderful work out in the world. I will thank you so much. Okay. Very happy with you too. Yeah. Have a lovely afternoon. And, and, if, and you and your and you and your violin should have a lovely holiday. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.